it is very very easy to know when you are undergoing spiritual warfare or when you are going through spiritual battles today i want to show you some of the things that when you observe them in your life clearly you will know that you are undergoing spiritual warfare good morning my name is joseph adenuga i'm the pastor of prevailing church bethlehem south africa and also prevailing church nigeria now i want to you know today you know talk about easy victory in spiritual warfare part 12 this is i mean episode 13 this is episode 13 today i pray that the power of god will envelope you and the glory of god will shine in your life god will open your eyes to understand what to do to overcome the battles of your life in jesus mighty name i pray amen i want you to understand in this you know 13th episode of easy victory in spiritual warfare that most of the warfare or spiritual battles that we undergo in our life generates from our family our family you know what, what our family the foundation of our family matters in our spiritual progress when you look at the family most people the problem they have in their life started from their family in fact almost everybody there is nobody who will come from a family who will not be affected by the problem of that family but when your family have a spiritual problem it is your responsibility to bring an end to that problem let me quickly show you some of the things when you observe when there is an observable pattern in your family maybe people die at a certain age or people fail in certain areas of their lives or people do not go beyond a certain educational qualification or there is an embargo on certain good things in some families nobody build a house in some families no woman you know get married you know properly all of them get pregnant on the way and goes to their husband's home in some family there is no woman that stays in a man's house every woman comes back to the family house see these are observable patterns now, when you find them in your family, you know there is a battle for you to fight. There is a warfare. Hallelujah. Now, when you look at yourself and you begin to observe some of these things I want to talk about, maybe just find out that, you know, when you are into friendship with people, at a certain point, somebody just, you know, your friend begins to hate you. The spirit of hatred begins to manifest. You know there is a battle to fight. Or maybe you just suddenly find out that every time you're about to succeed, there's always a failure, failure at the edge of success. It's always remaining small for you to make it. Oh, I will have made it just remain small. When that becomes a pattern, there is a battle in your life that you must face, that you must deal with. When you are finding it difficult in doing what, what other people are doing easily, there's a battle. When other people do things, they get it easily. But when it comes to your turn to do it, it becomes very difficult to do it. It's because there is a spiritual warfare that you need to deal with in your life. Or when you find out that you are always dreaming, bad dreams all the time. Dreams of death, dreams of falling down, dreams that somebody is running after you. There's a battle in your life to fight. Another thing that you have to see when there is sickness, at a certain time of the year, maybe some people, every February, they must be sick. There's a battle. That is not the norm. That should stop. When there's a sickness at a certain time of the year, you need to pray seriously and destroy that bondage. Or when you find out that there is an incurable disease in your body or a, 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 you know, it's a pattern in your family, you know there is a battle. Or when you find out that you're a woman, every time you get pregnant, there is always a threatened abortion, and finally there's always an abortion. There's a battle for you to fight. Or if you find it, if you find it, you know, very difficult to conceive children as a woman, then there is a battle to fight, and you must fight it now. Or when you find out that every man or woman that you get, you always end up, you know, separating. You, you have it, none of your relationship have ever you know ended in marriage you always fight them you don't have a steady relationship there is a battle you see some when this battle is in your life no matter how beautiful you are when men love you 
and they needed you. By the time that battle comes up, they leave you. You know, it's a battle that you must face. There are some other things, but today I'm going to stop there. Today is Sunday. I'd like you to go to church. I myself am preparing to church to go to church. If you are living in Bethlehem, South Africa area, come to prevailing, you know, church, you know, held at Kodisom Crutch. And uh, let's celebrate the Lord Jesus together. Thank you so much for listening. I believe this has blessed you. I'd like you to rebroadcast this. And if this is rebroadcasted to you, I send this to people every day. I can send it to you. If you can WhatsApp me, save my number with Prevailing Life. My number is plus 27-740-302-381. Save that number. Go to your WhatsApp. WhatsApp me. Say, register me. I'll register you and send this to you every day. Thank you so much for listening. This is Joseph Adenunga, the pastor of Prevailing Church, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.